Mike Moore Media. I'm checking in with Reedsville Parks and Recreation. Director Quentin Robertson is on the line. Quentin, hey, good to talk to you. Good to talk to you, Mike. Good to hear from you. Now we've got a lot uh, going on, so let's uh, bring everybody up to date. What's happening? Well, right now, our athletic program is gearing up for our spring. We're in the midst of um, uh, baseball registration, um, and then we're finishing up some of our basketball leagues. And actually, um, this weekend, we will be taking our um, – seven to nine year old age group will be traveling down to Henderson, North Carolina to play in a basketball um, tournament with Henderson recreation uh, down in that area. So uh, we got a lot of good things with our programs and summer things, uh, sports that are going on at this time or actually will be coming up. And so um, baseball registration again, uh, men's softball is open as well. And I think we also have basketball for our older group for our teenagers and along with our summer league adult basketball that will be finishing up as well. Mm-hmm. So um, that's what's going on in our rec department. But also um, our baseball leagues are starting to pick back up. It's starting to be springtime. So um, the old North State baseball season will be starting pretty soon here in May. And uh, we encourage everybody to come out and support that, that group of guys and, and that organization here for the city. Yeah, okay. Lots of opportunities to get involved in those programs for sure. And uh, Easter is uh, right around the corner, so uh, let's talk about that. Yes, well, we have a big plant Easter egg event this year again um, at Lake Reesville. It will be Saturday, um, March 23rd. You can um, give a call down to our lake office to kind of get the schedule according to what your age of your uh, um, your child might would like to participate. And that number is 336-349-4738. And we're also starting to kind of um, add more things into our lakes and more lake activities. Um, right now we're partnering with RCC to kind of host some kayak classes. So if you're interested in that, you can contact the Rockingham County um, Tourism and Development Group and uh, speak with Miss Lindsay and kind of sign up through that um, and actually come into our store. We can kind of give you that information as well. But I think that's a great addition to our lake as well. Um, getting people out there on the water a little bit more in different ways other than the boats. And then also we have the, what we call the, the um, Tales on Trails event presented by Darber, which will be April 9th, where um, a group of people can sign up or you would like to come to our store and sign up. But we find a vantage point, and they do walk through our trails that we have down here at Lake Breezeville, um, which is a, is a great way to experience the nature and a great way to see our lake in a different, in a different format. And so... Um, it is a great experience for those that are, are liking the nature and like to be outdoors. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about Lake Reedsville. You mentioned uh, those uh, kayak uh, classes you're doing with RCC and uh, something with uh, DARBA there. Um, but uh, let's talk about uh, some of the things that uh, some of the uh, perks you have there at Lake Reedsville. People love that place. Right. So with our RV um, campground is always open to the public um we're pretty much open year-round um you can also rent shelters for different birthday parties baby showers and then hopefully and we're going to be possibly add some more additions out there um what our sports baseball i mean our football field and and some other um youth activities that they can be a part of so um okay (laughs) huge and we're still hosting those tournaments um, a couple throughout the year. So we have a great following, and now uh, we're getting more involved with um, different RV clubs are starting to make this a physical point um, of acceptance and, and showcasing all, all the things that we have to offer here for the city of Reesville, but also what we have to offer at Lake Reesville. Oh, that sounds great. Okay. Let's talk about senior games, uh, getting ready to start those about a week away. Yeah, April 1st, um, our senior games is throughout our county. We have a, a great group of participants over at our Archer Center. Miss um, Cindy Baines is a the coordinator there. Um, if you are interested or you're a member, you can stop by our senior center and sign up, and they can kind of give you the schedule um, for that. I think games are, are we're consigned in eating. They will be here in Reedsville, um, Madison, Stokesdale as well. So, um I think we have a strong chance of winning again in pickleball. We have a lot of great pickleball enthusiasts that play at our care center. So uh, I think we we might have a small advantage here. So uh. <laughs> Okay. 
Keep our eye, keep our eye on your pickleball team for sure. People, boy, yeah. people love that, don't they? They love it. They love it. And we're able to provide a space and opportunity for them to enjoy the game. It's, it's great for us. Yeah. Okay. Lots of good things happening at our care. Some other things there you wanted to mention? Oh, yeah, and we're also in just in the middle of our tax preparation. So if you're an elderly member or if you're 55 or older, we're able to assist with some of those things. And so you would just need a call up to our or care, stop by and visit and uh, set up an appointment there to kind of help with that. And we also want to make sure that we're taking care of our elderly people. So we have, we have certain programs and um, that we're, we're pushing out a little bit more uh, medication information and and workshops that will actually start on March 27 at 10 o'clock. So anyone that is interested in being a member of our care or just want to like some information on some of the medication that some of the LED may be taking, that you may also stop by our care and, and visit and sign up and make an appointment and attend that workshop as well. Okay, great. Appreciate their good work at our care. What about yeah. uh, the teen center? What's happening there? Well, the teen center is back up. We have motion. We, we're, we're starting off. We're we have a, a, a great group of kids that are, are periodically coming through. And so as they come through, we, we kind of brainstorm with them and kind of see what kind of ideas and things that they're interested with. Uh, we're, we'll meet with our IB um, coordinates from um, Rockingham and from um, Reeseville to, to do some focus groups. And, and we came we're able to come up with this. And, and now we're kind of moving forward, hopefully throughout our spring, you know, our summer with some different programming as far as, um, music and technology, some photography and creative arts, and then we're starting back up with our Monday uh, mentor Mondays and and and, and career readiness um, that we're trying to keep continue to push forward and kind of give a, a clear avenue and opportunity for some of the kids that are, are staying involved in our teen center. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Good things happening at the teen center in Reedsville. Uh, well, that kind of that kind of goes the the range from uh, from younger to older. Um, and I know you have some other events and special things you wanted to mention too on the pro- on the broadcast. Yeah, well, so a few of the special events that we're going, we're we're moving forward, making some renovations um, um, to our gym. Obviously, putting down a new gym floor, what possibly a new design that represents and, and is a good outlook for the city of Reeseville. And hopefully, we'll be adding a scoreboard out to our Lake Reeseville soccer field pretty soon, mm-hmm. and that will possibly complete the. the the look of our youth football stadium so we can continue to bring some of those youth football games going and, and kind of keep those guys in line so we can win another state championship. Oh, but. yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> you bet. Okay. And right. Anything else? And and, and, I, and we're, we're just moving forward. It's been a great year. Uh, our, our city managers and our team has really been um, more pro- being progressive in the ideas and, and coming and all of the visions are starting to come together. So um, we, we're, we're great here at the city of Reeseville. And I just want to say thank you for giving me a call on um, Mr. Mike and having this interview and giving this, being able to give these updates to everyone. Sure. Glad to. I've got to ask before we finish up Quentin about the splash pad been uh, sometime uh, coming, but it's going to be here soon. It's going to be here soon. Uh, we will Almost in the making of finishing everything. I think we have a few more testing to do to make sure that some of the water pressure and the valves and everything are working properly. Um, and just the more of the, um, the uh, excuse me, the management part of and, and putting out the um, signage of, of that and operation hours. But um, everything should be falling one foot after another and hopefully we'll be opening up here soon as soon as the weather breaks. Okay. And uh, where is the splash pad? Uh, it will be located at J.C. Park, um, okay. which will be um, a new address that we'll be coming along, which planning, and I'm sure where everybody get that information out to, to the city and everyone. But it will be at J.C. Park there, um, adjacent from our basketball court. So if you're riding down Scale Street now, you can kind of see some of the um, amenities and some of the features are up now. So, mm-hmm. um Hopefully the doors will be open pretty soon for everyone. Okay, great. A good way to have some fun this summer for sure with the new splash pad. All right. Of course. Lots of good opportunities to take uh, advantage of with uh, Reedsville Parks and Recreation Department. Uh, what about uh, some of your sports programs and things like that and sponsorship opportunities, Quentin, maybe you need to talk about? Well, we always look for sponsorships. Um, we, we, we're always looking for anyone that would like to help. Um, the cause or able to travel or send kids different 
different places with us. And so if you're interested in sponsorship, please give us a call or contact our main office at the Rizzo Parks and Recreation Department. Um, you can send us through an email or you can contact the telephone number. It's 336-349-1090. Um, I can speak to myself or Ms. Williams, and um, we would kind of send you an email, you kind of a sponsorship package. Or you might have an idea that you would like to sponsor a team or um or you would like just uniforms of, of that nature. So we, we have different ways that we definitely could work with those monsters, and we really appreciate that. Okay, terrific. Well, appreciate you and your team there making things happen. Uh, thank you, Quentin. Always good to talk to you. Thank you, Mike. Right. It was good to talk to you as well. Have right. a good spring and summer. We'll talk again. Okay, that's Quentin Robertson. He is director of Reedsville Parks and Recreation. You can find out more about what's happening on their Facebook page. That's easy, Reedsville Parks and Recreation. And, uh, of course, uh, that phone number, let me uh, mention that one more time. Quentin just uh, gave that out, uh, 336-349-1090, 349-1090 for uh, Parks and Rec in Reedsville. If you need to get more information uh, about what they're doing. Okay. And then let me remind you also to uh, go to the website, riseupreedsville.com. 